exciting one. We've already got big plans about uh, new products we're bringing out. We're designing some of our own products which are going to be bolt-on applications for certain vehicles this year. Um, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, click on the bell and uh, let's get going. Today we've asked, well we've been asked to do some reviews on the G30 turbos um, and you know we've been doing some comparisons between the fake turbos that are out there that have been copied uh, or copies of the G series, the G25 specifically. And uh, through some of the interaction on that video, a lot of people have started asking, please can we do uh, comparisons between the GTX Gen 2s and the G30s and the G25s compared to GTX 28s, etc, etc. So this is going to be the first video for 2020. We are going to have the G3770, G3660 and the GTX 3076 Gen 2. So I'm going to open these boxes up, get all the turbos on display, and I'm gonna actually go through the differences, talk about the ARs of the turbine housings, talk about the designs in terms of bearing housing, coupling to turbine housings, etc. Um, and then I'll show you the, the differences between these turbos and some interesting facts and how they've got the horsepower that they have out of these turbos with specific size rotating assembly. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna open up the 770 first, put it on the table, and uh, from there we'll then open up all the other guys. So, I like to keep these, uh, I know we've got some, some uh, constructive criticism and thank you guys for the, 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 the criticism about the mic and uh, the sound and all that kind of thing. Um, and as I did respond to one of the guys' uh, comments about the fact that this, the, the sound is like it is and I don't use a professional mic and we don't do voiceovers, it's because I want the videos raw. I want them as raw as possible so you guys can see that these are not doctored, these are not changed and edited and made to carry a point across. This is as raw as you're going to get. Um, you can hear there's an echo inside the room. This is actually our training room and that's the way I want it because of the fact that I want these videos as raw as possible so you guys can be assured that you're not getting nonsense or let's, let's call a spade a shit shovel. You're not getting BS. What you see here is exactly what you get. We're not going to basically uh, uh, edit videos and change things to try and get a point across. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, you're welcome to, to, uh, uh, to comment um, and, and carry on. At the later stage, we will be getting a mic uh, for certain other uh, uh, videos that we'll be doing. But for the comparisons and things that we need raw footage for, we're going to stick to uh, um, basically just recording from a phone or from... Uh, um, an action camera or whatever the case is and then obviously we'll go into the editing and, and, and put whatever else we put on there but the actual footage is going to be as raw as possible hope that's okay with you guys um, I'm almost done getting this G3770 out of this box these guys uh, have got massive boxes there's the turbine housing and I'm going to unpack all the other bits and bobs as well so you guys can see exactly what you get in the box okay let's get this box on the table right there's the 770 um, what I'm going to do is just lay these things out, open up this, 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 is, this has been opened before um, purely because we wanted to show this to a client. Um, right, so I'll lay this housing over there and here is the rotating assembly. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to show you the compressor stage at this point. I just want to, there's a reason that I'm doing that. And put these flanges that side. Okay, so next is going to be the GTX 3076. down there 
Okay, let's just cut that open and get this guy. As you can see, Garrett always have nice packaging. Um, they've got the gaskets included as well, which they just tape onto the side of the, the back plate. I'm going to leave this turbine side facing you as well. There's a reason I'm doing that, you guys will see now. I don't want to let the cap out of the bag too soon. And then it's turbine housing. So this is not really an unboxing video, but I'd like to uh, just do this so that you guys can see exactly how these are boxed. Um, how they're packaged and you basically get an idea of what you can expect when and if you purchase your own. Right here. And then last but not least we are opening the G3660. So just a little bit about the G series, the G30s. Um, the number behind the G30, if you don't already know this, indicates the capable horsepower that the turbo is, capable, is, is able to, to produce. So 660 would be 660 horsepower, 770 would be 770 horsepower, um, or 66 pounds per minute of airflow, or 77 pounds per minute of airflow. So those that are a little bit more technical and you want to know what the flow rates were, well, it's pretty simple. It's uh, divided by 10. So every 10 pounds per minute of airflow you have will equate to a rough estimate of 100 horsepower. So you should see, without taking into account uh, barometric pressure, temperature, humidity, etc., etc., every 10 pounds per minute of airflow, you should see approximately 100 horsepower. So if you see a turbocharger that has a compressor map, and on the compressor map you have a flow rate of 1,000 pounds per minute, that would be a substantial amount of power. I'm just tearing this packet open over here. Put the turbine housing down. It's three clamps. Okay, so it's got a separate package here with the little nuts, the three uh, lock nuts that you get for the V-band clamps. Let's put this box over there and let's get the rotating assembly out. on the inside of the box as well. I mean, there's, there's huge amounts of padding. There's no way that these turbochargers, it's almost impossible for them to get damaged in transit, um, even with the roughest handling of the, uh, from the shipping companies. Okay, so we have the G30 660 GTX 3076 Gen 2 and G30 770. Now, I want to go into the GTX 3076 first. Right, this specific turbocharger has got an AR61 turbine housing. Uh, that's that, this one's there. Right, so it is a cast turbine housing with a V-band in, V-band out. However, the way the super core or the bearing housing mounts into the turbine housing is with flanges and bolts. Traditional Garrett's M8 bolt screws in here with those nice flanges. So that is essentially your GTX 3076. AR61 turbine housing, V-band in, V-band out. The turbocharger itself, the rotating assembly, uh, measures on the turbine side 60 mils on inducer side and 55 millimeters on the exducer. On the compressor wheel, you are using a 76 millimeter exducer compressor. Now, that is rated at 750 horsepower. Remember this 76 millimeter exducer, 750 horse capable. Okay, so 70 pound, 75 pounds per minute of airflow. That is the GTX. 3076 Gen 2. The GTX 3076 Gen 1 also utilized the 76 millimeter exducer compressor, but only made uh, 640 horse capable. Um, 
things have come a long way without changing the actual size inducer or exducer side of the compressor. Just by changing the aerodynamics, um, Garrett was able to increase that from 640 to 750 horsepower. So they've increased the flow rate. The turbine wheel is exactly the same on the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 GTX 3076, 37, uh, 3071 GTXs. On the GT 3076, which used the old cast compressor wheel, same turbine, obviously a six plate split on the other side, that was 525 horse capable. Right, so let's move on. Now Garrett have come up with the G series and we start with the G3660. So this is 660 horsepower capable. It has got a completely redesigned and revised turbine wheel. So a different aerodynamic design as well as a different number of blades. It has got a 67 millimeter uh, exducer compressor, which is capable of making 660 horse. And look how small the turbine housing, uh, the compressor housing is. Let's put these next to each other and you'll get an idea of G3660, GTX3076. 660 horsepower, 20 more than the Gen 1 GTX3076 in a very, very small package. Very similarly designed to your G25. In actual fact, the compressor wheel is the same as the G25660, it just has a larger turbine. And how this attaches to your turbine housing is quite simply with the V-band. So you have V-band in, V-band out, and you have a V-band connection which attaches your bearing housing to the turbine housing. So three V-band flanges, that's what those are for. Now, have a look at the size of this turbocharger. It's nice and small, it's compact. It's really, really, the physical dimensions are very, very small. Fully machined intake track, speed sensor port. You can run a little uh, uh, boost only source or whatever the case is from here. Um, it's really, really great. If, you, if we just put these two turbochargers next to each other, you'll actually get an idea of how much smaller the G30 is, 660, than the GTX 3076. So if you get a picture from the top, you'll actually see that the compressor housings are Quite different. Both of them are TO4B family compressor housings. One is AR60, so is the other. Sorry, I'm lying to you. TO4B AR60, this is a TO4B AR70. So the volute, the area inside the volute on the housing here, although the physical dimensions are smaller, is actually larger. It's got a higher AR than the GTX 3076 Gen 2. Lastly, we have our GT or G30 770. Once again, this is all of these turbochargers have the same AR61 turbine housing. In terms of AR, it's a T3 scroll, T3 volute, and the AR is 0.61, as you can see over there. Now the difference here is this G3770, before even going over the fact that the first thing you'll notice is the compressor housing is large even larger than the GTX 3076 Gen 2, it runs a TO4E AR72 compressor housing. So this compressor housing is relatively large, much larger in physical dimensions than the GTX 3076 Gen 2, and obviously larger than its 660 horsepower capable uh, brother. Now the reason for this is this runs a 71 millimeter exducer and is capable of 770 horse. Now, we went from a 76 millimeter exducer, and which was capable of 750 horsepower, down to a 71 millimeter exducer, which is capable of 20 horsepower more. So that's gonna do wonders for your boost response, and it utilizes the nine blade revised, completely revised aerodynamic design on the, on the uh, turbine. The bearing housing is completely redesigned, as well as the bearing system is totally different to your GTX series. So this specific turbo, once again, if we compare this side by side to the GTX 3076 Gen 2, it's slightly higher and slightly wider in terms of its physical dimensions. Let's put a GT 3582R 
compressor housing down, which is a TO4 E family AR70. Have a look at the difference in dimensions. So very similarly sized physical dimensions to the GT slash GTX 3582. Now, here's a challenge. If you have a setup running the old GTX Gen 1 or GTX Gen 2 30 series turbochargers and you want to purchase just a supercore, you've got a turbine housing, you have a manifold made up, you don't want to change any of that, you don't have time or, or, or you don't want to actually spend the money to go and refabricate something completely new, you just want to basically pull supercore out and let's say for example replace with a G3770 into your old turbine housing. The problem you're going to face, it will fit and the blade will rotate. It actually fits inside and it turns. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the rotating assembly as you can see there. The rotating assembly turns, it fits. However, there's a problem over here where you can't have, you can't clamp the actual bearing housing into the turbine housing although the blade basically works. So the reason for that is because the bearing housing uses a V-band connection to connect to the new turbine housings. So physical dimensions in terms of height, remember if you put these two together, are going to be different. The height is different. And you're going to have slight variations in terms of where the V-band connections are. Have a look at the actual height of those. They will be slightly different. Uh, because of the housing designs, you have a lot more housing over here and the, 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 the dimensions from the V-band out to where the scroll starts on these housings are different. So, if you have quite a tight installation, it won't work. Now, you'll need to make up an adapter, but Garrett are, Garrett are busy uh, working on a project at the moment which is going to allow for a turbine housing, uh, which is going to have the same physical dimensions as the clamp and bolt style, to be able to retrofit, to be to be retrofitted to your G30 to allow you to keep your original uh, intact fabricated um, manifolds, down pipes, and all those kind of things. That is a four-inch inlet, as you can see, G3770, GTX3076, four-inch inlet. The G3660 runs a three-inch inlet, which is 76 mil, 102, 102, 102. So. The one of the questions was that the one of the comments was that the G30 has a 76 millimeter inlet, only the, seven, the, the, the 660 version does. All the others have got a four inch inlet, 102 millimeter. Um, what else is there to talk about here? Not much. Uh, one of the other comments was please, can we run one of these turbochargers, specifically, let's say, for example, a G30? On the balancing machine and do back-to-back -back runs so we can show the difference between the balance result on the G25 copy from Bushi Wheel in China and the original Garrett just to show the differences and the consistency and the results that you'll get back-to-back -back time and time again uh, on a genuine rotating assembly as opposed to a, a, a knockoff so we're gonna get that done now uh, that's gonna be the next video so stay tuned. I hope this has been informative. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's not a very technical video, but it's nice to be able to see these turbochargers next to each other and um, for somebody to actually just go and explain how these things mount, different sizes, sizes of the rotating assemblies and how Garrett is advancing by using smaller and smaller rotating assemblies, changing the aerodynamic designs and making more and more power. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.